What's up, people? You know, I can't make this shit up. Seriously. So I did a video earlier about uh, all the problems that to look out for, all the issues, you know, for new potential buyers, anybody who's out in the market looking for a uh, new or used Jeep SRT, the WK2 platform. And I was talking about all the warranty issues that I had with my vehicle. I was going through them one by one. And the, the number one issue that I found with these vehicles that everybody seems to have a problem with is the carbon fiber trim peeling. Happens to everybody. I, I've not met one person yet. Uh, I take that back. There are people who it's haven't happened to yet. It's going to happen though. It's so prevalent that it's just mind boggling. And as I'm doing the video, I notice that my panels are peeling again. They are uh, the, well, you know what? Let me just show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So check out this, uh, this clip here. All right, so this panel over here on the uh, passenger side is starting to peel right there. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. So you can see right here in the corner, this is coming up. And then underneath, you can see that it's bowed. That's coming off right there. And over on the door, let me show you on the door, right here in the middle, it's starting to bow out right there those are the two pieces that are coming off the others the other side uh, is all right right now but these two are peeling again that's it that's what I'm dealing with right now I am literally dealing with um, you know uh, my own carbon fiber repealing mine's already peeled once I had a problem getting it replaced under warranty and I want to talk about that right now to maybe help somebody out who is uh, experiencing this for the first time and you don't know what to do, so I can give you some advice, okay? So number one, take it to your local dealership. Take it to whatever dealership you use, um, your preferred dealership where you bought it from, pull over here, and uh, show them. If you're under warranty, there should be no issues, okay? They should replace it, no problem. Now, here's what happened to me the first time that I had this problem. I took it to a dealership on a recommendation, my friend, outside the city, northeast uh, of Philly. The service writer took a look at it, took some pictures. I never heard back from the guy again. Never spoke to that gentleman again. I had to call that dealership every day asking for him to return my calls, and he went totally unprofessional. Uh, this guy should not even be working for um, a dealership. Finally, a woman gets on the phone and she says to me, your claim has been denied for um, a aftermarket part. I'm going to show you. This is what was on my vehicle that denied it. Now, this was on this little tiny clip. You get these with, uh, you know, dash cams. This right here, it weighs less than a piece of paper. If you balled up a piece of paper, the piece of paper would, would be heavier than this. This is like, you could blow it. Whoa. It's so light, it's ridiculous, okay? This was on the panel to the left of my steering column. Mind you, there were two other pieces, two other panels that were peeling, but this jerk off up in this dealership told me that this was the reason my my carbon fiber was peeling. So I called FCA. I opened up a claim. Uh, I could probably find a number for you guys. Called them, opened up a claim, and then what they told me was, uh, where would you like to take it to be looked at? So I didn't want to go to that place again, obviously. So I took it to a dealership that I always had gone to in the past for oil. Uh, if you're local, if you're in the Philadelphia area, it's called Gary Barbera. I drove there. Service writer Devin came right out, took one look, and went, yep, it's peeling. We're going to fix it. Just like that. He didn't care about that I had an FCA claim open. He took one look at it and said, yeah, it's obvious. We're going to fix that. So my advice is, if you go to one dealership and you get some douche that doesn't know what he's doing or uh, is trying to rip you off and doesn't want to you know, honor your warranty, take it to another dealership. Take it to a few dealerships before you get FCA involved because you may... 
take it to one and the guy's a total dick and like, nah, we're not going to cover that. And then you go to the next one and we're like, well, yeah, it's obvious we're going to cover it. So take it to a couple first. If you still don't get any results, then call FCA and open up the claim. Then they're going to have to fix it. Now, that's if you're under warranty. If you're out of warranty and you don't have an extended uh, plan like the Max Care plan, uh, you're probably going to have to pay out of pocket or you're going to have to fix it yourself. There are a lot of people online with some uh, do-it-yourself tips on fixing this carbon fiber. I'm going to first see if my Max Care plan will cover this. And uh, these two panels look like S. Uh, so I'll have to let you know. I'm going to make an appointment for Friday of this week. Have them look at it. I should have an answer Friday. The last time I went in, like I said, they looked at it and went, yeah, we're going to fix it. Um, and if that's not going to be the case, then I'm going to fix it myself. There, are, Like I said, there's some uh, tips online to do it. But it, it's disheartening that this problem has been going on for so long. This isn't something new. Mopar, uh, Chrysler has known about this since the, the WK2 SRT came out. It's happened to every single year. There was a service bulletin for one particular year, I guess when it was really bad, but uh, there should be a service bulletin for every year. It peels. Everybody I know that owns one of these ends up with carbon fiber that falls off, the trim. It's garbage. It is absolute garbage. For the money you pay for this vehicle, this should not occur, especially six months into ownership when the first one occurred. Ridiculous. Uh, I've only owned this vehicle less than three years. It's, 20, it's a 2015. It's 2018. I got it in November of 2015. This is the second time this is peeling. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's one of those things you deal with if you like the, the way the vehicle looks, but it does play into your mind when you think about what your next vehicle is going to be. If I'm going to buy another Jeep, mm, I don't know. Problems like this that they don't, they know they have a problem, they don't fix it. So Chrysler, Mopar, I'm tagging you in this video. If you know somebody who um, handles this, send them this link. Fix this, please. Uh, we're tired of it. If you go on to any of the Jeep SRT group pages on Facebook, you will see people bitching about this issue. You need to get it together. You need to unpluck this cranial part from your sphincter area and figure out a solution. If you can't figure out how to fix it after all these years or make a Jeep SRT with a trim that won't peel, then you need to cover it, okay? It's one or the other. You can't continually screw it up and then expect your customers to have to pay for it. It's ridiculous. This is the second time for me, and I've known people that had it um, more than once also, so get it together, all right? Fix it. That's it. That's all I got for you guys and girls. Uh, comment below if you have any questions for me. Uh, the FCA number I can look up. I think I have it in my notes somewhere, but I'll look it up for you if you need it. Um, comment below. Please subscribe. That's all I got for you. You guys and girls, be safe. I'm out.